This is my ground bait mix. Bull and ground bait mix for carp and bream. I've also put plenty of stewed wheat in. There's dead maggots, sweet corn, everything that bream like. This is a lovely texture. You can make balls of it and it breaks up very easily when it's on the bottom of the lake. This is a perfect mix for fishing the swim that I'm in, which is about 12 or 13 foot deep. Stewed wheat is probably one of the best and finest bulk particles. It's so easy to prepare. All you're doing is putting it in a cooler box and pouring hot water on it and leaving it for two days. I'd like to show you how I prepare to swim and how I fish it. This is the middle of October. Obviously, it's a little bit cooler now than it was when I was fishing in the summer months. And I'm dressed accordingly. I'm dressed in layers now, but it's still a lovely, nice day. I'm out of the wind. Uh, the fishing isn't quite as prolific, but it's, the fish are coming at a steady interval and it's still very enjoyable. Oh, right, bud. Are you there? This is a deeper swim I've chosen this time because it's, it's colder. Um, I'm still not fishing all that far out. I'm still getting some lovely sized bream and as before, some lovely carp as well. And the sport is very enjoyable. I'm still catching quality fish in some lovely, beautiful surroundings. This is the first bream of the day uh, from a pre-baited swim. I started off using maggots and castor. I was catching small roach and uh, I changed. This is worm and sweet corn. This is how I like to fish wild natural waters for a variety of fish. I'm catching roach, I'm catching bream, I'm catching carp and I know when the time is right there's plenty of tension to be caught as well. Another one. I caught this one on the drop as soon as I cast in. I like to use a variety of baits, which are maggots, sweet corn, and worm and sweet corn. Depending upon what the fish want, sometimes you have to chop and change. Yes, I'm still fishing with a, with a feeder, but I'm still putting in lots of particle baiting as well, and hopefully I'm pre-baiting up to catch more fish of a good size tomorrow as well. 